Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're learning the fascinating world of technology to explore the evolution of one of the most iconic devices of our time, the iPhone. From its humble beginnings to the cutting-edge marvels of today, join me as we take a captivating journey through the history of the iPhone. After months of rumors and speculation, Apple CEO Steve Jobs unveiled the first iPhone on January 9, 2007. The device, which didn't actually go on sale until June, started at $499 for a 4GB model, $599 for the 8GB version with a two-year contract. It offered a 3.5-inch screen, a 2-megapixel camera, and one plaudits for the then-new multi-touch features. Critics, however, said the phone was too expensive to do well in the market. On June 9, 2008, a year after the original iPhone went on sale, Apple rolled out its successor, the iPhone 3G. The new model could connect to faster 3G-based networks, included built-in GPS, offered more storage, and was cheaper. Selling for $199 for the 8GB model, $299 for the 16GB version, the iPhone 3G was available on July 11th and offered something called location services. Location services is going to be a really big deal on the iPhone, said CEO Steve Jobs. It's going to explode. Again at WWDC, Apple's Steve Jobs announced the next iPhone, a faster version called the iPhone 3GS. Although the form factor was unchanged from the previous version, the new iPhone was twice as fast as its predecessor and ran iPhone 3.0, an early version of iOS 8 due out later this month. The 32GB iPhone 3GS sold for $299, a 16GB model went for $199, an 8GB iPhone 3G was also offered for $99. The iPhone 3GS was available June 19, 2009. The redesigned iPhone 4 arrived on June 7, 2010 in tandem with the newly renamed iOS 4 and marked the arrival of FaceTime video chat. Prices remained unchanged. $199 for a 16GB model and $299 for the 32GB version. It went on sale on June 24 and heralded the arrival of the first high-resolution Retina screen. Once you use a Retina display, you can't go back, said Steve Jobs. In a change of pace, Apple unveiled the iPhone 4S on October 4, 2011, a few weeks after Steve Jobs stepped down because of health issues. New CEO Tim Cook talked up the new phone's dual-core processor, the same used in the iPad, too, and said the 4S would go on sale October 14th. In addition to the usual 16GB and 32GB models, Apple also unveiled a 64GB version that sold for $399. The iPhone 5, the first version to have a 4-inch screen, arrived on September 12, 2012, as CEO Tim Cook touted the faster, slimmer upgrade to the iPhone 4S during a 90-minute presentation in San Francisco. This is the biggest thing to happen to iPhone since the original iPhone, he said, referring to the first-gen smartphone Steve Jobs had launched in 2007. The iPhone 5 hit the streets on September 21st. Prices for the 16GB, 32GB, and 64GB models were unchanged. On September 10th, 2013, Apple CEO Tim Cook rolled out not one but two iPhones, the upscale iPhone 5S, now in gold in addition to the usual white and black, and the colorful, less expensive iPhone 5C. The iPhone 5C was basically a reskinned iPhone 5. The iPhone 5S got a faster 64-bit A7 SoC system on a chip, Touch ID, and a new motion data processor touted as the foundation for a new wave of health and fitness apps. The iPhone 5C started at $99 for a 16GB model. The iPhone 5S started at $199 for the same amount of storage. Both went on sale September 20th. For the second year in a row, Apple unveiled two iPhones in 2014. The iPhone 6, which has a 4.7-inch screen, and the iPhone 6 Plus, with a 5.5-inch screen. Both iPhones sported new A8 processors that were faster and more efficient than the previous year's models. Both also had upgraded cameras and were NFC-ready for access to the new Apple Pay network that rolled out in October. Although the iPhone 6 was priced the same as 2013's iPhone 5S, the Plus model was $100 more. 
Apple's iPhone 6S and 6S Plus represented MIDI upgrades to the 2014 models on which they were based. The 6S and 6S Plus got new Force Touch technology called 3D Touch, as well as a beefed-up 12-megapixel EyeSight camera that shot 4K video. The 5-megapixel FaceTime camera was also new and was designed to take better selfies. Both phones ran on a faster A9 chip and came in a new color for 2015, rose gold. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus looked much like the 2015 models with three major exceptions. Apple eliminated the audio jack, changed the home button into a haptic-based virtual button, and added a dual camera setup in the 7S. The loss of the audio jack, a somewhat controversial move, meant users had to rely on the Apple-supplied earbuds or use their old headphones with the included adapter. Both phones ran on a quad-core A10 Fusion chip and came in two new colors, black, a matte finish charcoal color, and the super shiny jet black. Apple introduced the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus with a new glass and aluminum enclosure, Retina HD display, a 11 bionic chip, and wireless charging on September 12, 2017. The front and back glass enclosure, which Apple said was the most durable glass ever in a smartphone, was reminiscent of the design of the iPhone 4 and 4S. True Tone technology adjusted the white balance of the display to match the surrounding light. Redesigned stereo speakers were 25% louder and delivered deeper bass. Apple called the A11 Bionic chip the most powerful and smartest chip ever in a smartphone. It featured a 6-core CPU with two performance cores and four efficiency cores, which were 25% and 70% faster than the A10 Fusion chip, respectively. The new iPhones included an Apple-designed GPU that delivered up to 30% faster graphics than in 2016's iPhone 7. Each model featured an improved 12-megapixel camera with a larger and faster sensor, a new color filter, deeper pixels, and capabilities for 4K video up to 60 FPS and 1080p slow-mo up to 240 FPS. RKit in iOS 11 allowed developers to create AR games and apps offering immersive and fluid experiences. Color variations included space gray, silver, and a new version of gold. To commemorate a decade of iPhones, Apple ended its September event with one more thing, the iPhone X 10. Starting at $999 for 64 GB and one $149 for 256 GB, it was Apple's most expensive iPhone to date. It included a redesigned glass and stainless steel enclosure, wireless charging, and dual cameras. Its flagship feature was an edge-to-edge -edge Super Retina display, a 5.8-inch OLED display that supports Dolby Vision and HDR10. It had a pixel resolution of 458 ppi, a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio, and true tone. Touch ID and the home button were removed in favor of a new biometric security feature, Face ID. Face ID uses a true depth camera system made up of a dot projector, infrared camera, and flood illuminator. The A11 Bionic chip works in tandem with advanced depth sensing technologies to map and recognize a user's face to securely unlock the iPhone or make a transaction with Apple Pay. Face ID only works when a user looks at the iPhone X directly and is designed to prevent spoofing by photos and masks. The Xer had an aluminum and glass design in six finishes, with improved water resistance and a 6.1 in liquid retina display, available in 64 GB, 128 GB, and 256 GB models and starting at $749, it featured Apple's A12 Bionic chip with second-generation neural engine, the first 7 nanometer chip in a smartphone. Portrait mode with depth control was available on the True Depth camera for selfies, which included support from emoji and face tracking for Face ID authentication, while the 12 megapixel camera with an F1. Eight aperture wide angle lens featured a new sensor and improved software algorithms for faster focusing and enhanced portraiture with depth control. Established iPhone gestures were supported, and haptic touch controls could be used to instantly launch the camera or flashlight from the home screen. Featuring 5.8 and 6.5-inch all-screen designs and improved scratch and water resistance, Apple's iPhone X's and X's Max both offered Super Retina OLED displays that supported Dolby Vision and HDR10 and had iOS system-wide color management. 
The X Max had the largest iPhone display to date, with more than 3 million pixels, and the biggest battery, promising up to an hour and a half more battery life than the iPhone X. These models were the first to include Apple's A12 Bionic chip with second-generation neural engine. The chip design was capable of completing up to 5 trillion operations per second, compared with 600 billion in its predecessor. Models in 64 GB, 256 GB, and 512 GB configuration started at $999 and $1,099 for the Exis and Exis Max, respectively. The iPhone 11, which succeeded 2018's iPhone XR, got a $50 price cut to $699, a new color, purple, a redesigned two-camera system, and a number of under-the-hood technology upgrades. The screen is a 6.1-inch, liquid retina HD display storage comes in 64 GB, 128 GB, or 256 GB options, and the phone uses Apple's new A13 Bionic processor. The camera system features an ultra-wide camera that captures more than four times the scenery and 4K video at up to 60 frames per second. It also features audio zoom, so if you zoom in on video, the audio does too. The front-facing camera is a 12-megapixel model that allows for slow-motion selfies, which Apple dubbed Slofies. The camera system also offers a new night mode for better images in low-light conditions. According to Apple, the A13 Bionic chip allows for an extra hour of use compared to the 2018 models. The iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max succeeded 2018's iPhone XS and XS Max and started at $999. The phones come in four colors, including a new one, Midnight Green, and feature a wholly new three-camera system and a variety of under-the-hood technology upgrades. According to Apple, the A13 Bionic chip and the third-generation neural engine run more efficiently, allowing for up to four or five hours of additional use compared to the previous year's models. The iPhone 12 took over for the iPhone 11 as Apple expanded its OLED displays across its smartphone lineup and rolled out a new 5.4-inch iPhone mini. Prices started at $699 for the mini, $100 more for the larger iPhone 12, with storage options of 64 GB, 128 GB, and 256 GB. The new Super Retina XDR displays are built with what Apple calls Ceramic Shield, for four times better resistance to breaking if dropped. All iPhone 12 models use the A14 Bionic chip and offered 5G networking, both the Sub-6, GEC, and M-Wave varieties. The iPhone 12 Pro got an even larger Big Brother with the 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max. Prices started at $999 for the iPhone 12 Pro, $100 more for the Pro Max, with storage options of 128 GB, 256 GB, and 512 GB. The Super Retina XDR OLED displays are built with what Apple calls Ceramic Shield for four times better resistance to breaking if dropped. Both Pro models used the A14 Bionic chip and offered 5G networking, both the Sub-6 GHZ and MM Wave varieties. The 3-Lens Pro 12MP camera system includes either a 4X or 5X optical zoom range, night mode for better photos in low-light conditions, and LiDAR sensors for faster focus and improved ARVR. 4K video recording can be done at 24fps, 30fps, or 60 FPS and HDR video recording with Dolby Vision is available at up to 60 FPS. The iPhone 13 and 13 mini picked up where the previous year's models left off. They have the same form factor and price range as in 2020, plus a new processor and better battery life. Prices started at $699 for the mini, $100 more for the larger iPhone 13, with storage options of 128 GB, twice the base amount offered last year, 256 GB, and 512 GB. Both models sport Apple's Super Retina XDR displays and run on the new A15 Bionic chip. Both have larger batteries for up to 2.5 hours more battery life in the iPhone 13, 1.5 hours more in the Mini. The iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max are virtually identical to their predecessors, though slightly thicker and heavier. 
They got Apple's newest A15 Bionic processor and delivered better battery life. Prices again started at $999 for the iPhone 13 Pro and $1,099 for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, with storage options ranging from 128 GB to a whopping 1 TB. Both models again use Apple's Super Retina XDR displays, with the Pro models getting promotion screens for smoother on-screen graphics. A larger battery means up to 2.5 hours more battery life in the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 1.5 hours more in the 13 Pro. The iPhone 14 and new 14 Plus have the same form factor and price range as the previous year, with the larger Plus model replacing the discontinued iPhone 13 mini. Both use an updated version of the Bionic A15 processor, the same chip used in the 2021 models, and offer better battery life. Prices start at $799 for the iPhone 14 and $899 for the larger 14 Plus, with storage options of 128 GB, 256 GB, and 512 GB. Unlike the Pro models, these versions of the iPhone do not have an always-on display or any changes to the screen notch. Pre-orders began September 7th, with the phones available in stores on September 16th, iPhone 14, and October 7th, iPhone 14 Plus. The iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max look similar to last year's models, but get noteworthy new features including the new A16 processor and a more powerful 48 MP rear camera system. Prices are unchanged from 2021. Storage options range between 128 GB and 1 TB, and this year brings a new deep purple color as an option. Both models again use Apple's Super Retina XDR displays, but this year get an always-on display. The screen dims when not in use to save on battery life, but can display as much as 2,000 nits of brightness outdoors. Pre-orders began September 7th, with the phones available in stores on September 16th. From a simple phone to a pocket-sized powerhouse, the iPhone's evolution is a testament to human ingenuity and the pursuit of progress. As the years go by, one thing remains certain. The iPhone will continue to shape our world, one innovation at a time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.